Hello everyone, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, I want to share something a little silly, but a little fun, that I'm sure some of you guys will enjoy. This is a little bit of internet fiction, and while I'm sure many of you are too busy for this kind of thing, I'm sure some of you have the time for it, as evidenced by the fact that you spend quite a bit of time here in the YouTube prepping community, which, let's face it, is at least partially fear porn and fantasy for many people. Anyways, what I'm talking about here is the SCP Foundation, a fictional pseudo-governmental agency whose goal is to locate, secure, and research anomalous entities and objects. That is, paranormal things which shouldn't exist. Usually things which are harmful to humans or pose a threat to humanity in general. These are things like the zombie plague, or angry gods, or self-replicating information. These anomalous objects are detailed in SCP, Special Containment Procedure Documents, which are anonymously shared online and collated in various websites. This is a trend which started in 2007 on 4chan, which you may be familiar with in relation to Anonymous, the hacktivist group. For those of you unfamiliar with 4chan, that's great. 4chan is a nexus of generally unpleasant underbellies of the internet. At its core, 4chan is a forum website, a place which has multiple boards or sub-websites which are themed and where people gather to discuss topics under that theme. On 4chan, this is done by posting an image and then discussing the theme related to that image. Under the board Paranormal, people usually discuss sort of spooky stories like you might share around a campfire or paranormal experiences that they feel happen to them. In 2007, someone posted anonymously a document with this image and the following document detailing the containment procedures for the entity shared in the image. The document is as follows. Item number SCP-173 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Description Move to Site-19, 1993 Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personnel assigned to enter container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class IV hazardous object containment procedures. Personnel report sounds of scraping stone originating from within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal, and any change in this behavior should be reported to the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. The reddish-brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. So, as you might imagine, with an article and an image like this being posted anonymously and with no explanation to an internet board devoted to creepy stories, it quickly gained a lot of attention and was soon followed up or emulated with other images and similarly formatted articles appearing on 4chan. These were always formatted as though they were leaked documents from the foundation where it was implied people worked to contain and find these objects which were hazardous to human health. This has continued for over the past decade, and now there are thousands of these articles detailing a variety of different paranormal entities and objects. Things ranging from 
red and blue 3D glasses which reveal a paranormal realm all around us to funny things like teddy bears which only want to make you feel happy or heal you to scary things which will have you wondering if occurrences that you've experienced weren't paranormal things. I would actually warn that if you are prone to delusions or paranoia, some of these things might actually stick with you because they're well written and specifically meant to line up with things that happen to us in our everyday lives or strange people that we all inevitably meet. But it is very fun. It's a bunch of good fiction, and there are multiple YouTube channels that narrate them, so you can listen to them in the background. There are multiple of these which detail apocalyptic scenarios that are described in religious texts or mainstream media tropes, and there are plenty of funny ones, like the one where every time a certain Bernie Sanders meme is shared, a lot of quarters disappear from around America and materialize near Bernie Sanders which he has no awareness of. Anyways, there are a lot of different fun SCPs, and I'll provide links down below to YouTube channels or the wiki, which has all the articles listed. I just think that this is something fun that a lot of preppers might find interest in, just given the fear porn nature of some of the stuff that we do here. Anyways, <laughs> hope that's something you might enjoy. It's sort of spooky stories for adults, if you will. Anyways. I hope you get to see this. If you do, it will mean that I managed to edit a video once again. Hope you're all doing well. Everybody stay safe out there.